Man, if I never slap ass, you, we get that car. I can turn. <laughs> and they fight like like I can Tina Wood and them. Yeah. Say, man, what's up? This your boy Charleston White, and I want y'all to listen to me real good. I'm going to say this once, and I'm going to say it slow, so I ain't got to say it no more. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and tune in to Real Life Street Stars on YouTube. Tap in. Please don't tap out. What, what I will say is you are kind of getting into... Um you have bumped elbows with some celebrities as of yet. You know, you, yeah. you are getting into this world um, to where when people see you uh, with a Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. And, you know, he's one of the billionaires or, you know, soon to be billionaires that you talk about. If you got to be, you know, if you're a billionaire, you got to do this. You have to do some evil shit to become a billionaire. I, I'm not quoting you none. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, but when you when people see you rub elbows with Floyd Mayweather um, and, you know, first of all, how did that even happen? Secondly, what did you take from that as far uh, as? Yeah, I've been rocking with the Mayweather family for a while now. Right. Uh, you know, dad and them came to my show uh, when I had my Las Vegas show, House of Blues with Live Nation. Uh, every time I go to Vegas, uh, I go to the gym. Uh, I mentor uh, one, of, one of Floyd's fighters, uh, John Easton Jr. Uh, so I've been, you know, I've been, I've been wrapped up with the, uh, I'm good friends with some of his, you know, his TMT family out of Philly. Uh, New York, so uh, yeah, I've been I, I I've been wrapped in with them. Uh, it seemed like you uh you bought you brought a couple bottles home. Uh, shit, uh, a whole bunch, bunch of them, yeah, whole shit. bunch of expensive motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, shit, I don't know how you got them. I don't know how you got them hoes off. Uh, <laughs> shit, I bought they were seven, they were damn near eight hundred dollars a piece. Shit, uh, and I I bought eight of them that weekend. <laughs> uh, nah, homie. So uh, me and Floyd Mayweather Senior was booked. Uh, to do an event together at the All Star Game, and so uh, somebody that's close to Dad, uh, you know, brought Dad to the concert. Uh, the all men in the family came, so uh, Floyd Mayweather got a lot of got a lot of old cats around him as well. So like I said, homie, all the old older black guys a admire what I'm saying. It, it, it's the you know so when I'm out there, homie. Uh, you know, I go fuck with them, tap in. And so I signed a podcast deal with, with Green Room Radio, uh, with True and, and Paul Rosenberg, them over there. Uh so I'm gonna be moving to Vegas. So oh, uh, so yeah, Floyd and them uh, you know, they embrace me, homie. You know, if I need anything, you know, let them know. So uh they know I like to go to strip clubs. So they invited me to come to uh Girl Collections. Shout out Girl Collections. Yeah, yeah, I went to Girl Collections, uh my first time going. Uh you know, Floyd company two bottles. Oh, come on. So, now. so if you go back again, uh, you know, nigga, he comp you, then you bless him. There you go. So yeah, uh, so you know, us talking, uh, you know, he let me know that he got his own liquor. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm all about black brands. So shit, nigga, I'm I'm, I'm promoting the brand. So let me ask you, uh, Vegas Super Bowl weekend, Floyd Mayweather, he's lit. Um, as you're getting higher up in this industry, you see situations like Ice Spice with Taylor Swift, and she has an upside down cross, and she does throw up some type of hand signal that people have tried to break down as some Illuminati shit. Yeah. Do you not feel like you're getting closer to those rooms that people aren't supposed to be seeing or being witnessing? Have you seen some shit at, in your ascension that you're like, oh, I see what this shit is and what it could be. Uh, yeah, 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 I have. Uh, <laughs> but it ain't no up, down, upside down cross. They playing on, they playing with that shit. Oh, so they I, fuck, oh, they fuck uh, with us. <laughs> I do it too, homie. So every now and then I, I you know, I, I yeah, nigga. <laughs> so I give you, I give you what you want. Yeah, and now, every now and then I, I, I play, I play on it too. Yeah, homie. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I've seen some shit, but it ain't. <sighs> Ain't nothing crazy. Ain't, ain't nothing crazy. <laughs> I done seen some crazy shit on me, but uh, I've seen crazier shit in the hood. That's some real shit. That's a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a real shit. So, so 
Once you get to this level, homie, <laughs> once you get to this level, you're going to get tested by your desires. Mm, that's some real Not shit. by what's in the industry. Yeah. So you'll, see, sure, you'll see what you're looking for. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come to you because you desire it. Mm. Because you desire it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come to you because you it's a desire in your heart. God damn. So there's no doors you're going to stumble up on. You're going to know that that door is there. You're going to know what's behind every door. They don't surprise you with this shit. Because how they know you ain't going to go back and scream and holler. So what they do is they hang with you. They sit around you and they find out what you like. And boy, when they find out what you like, your ass in trouble. <laughs> and they find out what all these niggas like. Come on now. Yeah, you like to get high. Them later. Come on now. Yeah. They find out what you like, homie. And they don't ambush you and surprise you with things that you haven't done that they want to get you to do. They mm. go see what you like, nigga. And that's what they go tap into. So, Charles, let me ask you. Um, There's been something going on on TikTok where a, a lady by the name of Risa Tisa has been going viral for asking the public who the fuck did I marry and going on a 55 part story telling the stories of how she got fooled by a man that she names Legion. She just got fooled by him. Uh, he, he was, I mean, he, 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 he set up a whole life, a lie in front of her. So mind you, Charlemagne just recently went on and saying, Oh, he looked at us. Oh, you're a big back woman. And then they showed the man and they said, oh, he a big back man. And this is just some shit that goes on the hood. And, you know, y'all just got played on by not knowing. And she just told some, she told some real stories. But from her perspective, there's some regular shit that happens when men pray on women and women believe men. But now they saying that she is like an internet sensation. Lifetime is looking at her trying to fly her out to London. And she kind of had a, she kind of like did what you, what you did by just giving her real life stories and talking. And then now she has a, a uh, uh, me meteoric rise like it's crazy her rise in the last couple of weeks so I got to get your take on as far as this 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 black woman telling her story on TikTok about a man who lied on her and now a bunch of other women are trying to tell their stories about sorry ass men who preyed on them and hopefully TikTok will pay them a bag what's your thoughts on that shit oh uh. Yeah, I lie all the time to bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, legion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you nah, legion three point oh. Uh, if you really love them, lie to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only me. Nah, man, you supposed to lie to a woman. What's fucked up? He said that too. He said, "Man, I really wanted to marry you, so I lied to you." I'm like, "Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah." You like, yeah. You you only be honest to the ones you don't love and don't like. Shit. But the rest of them, you learn to lie to them because you love them, homie. You can't be honest with no woman you love. Is there such thing as telling too many lies? Like, bro, you kind of no. living in these lies now. You're supposed to lie even when you're telling the truth. God damn. And you talk to a woman. When you're talking to a woman, you're supposed to lie even when you're telling the truth, nigga. <gasps> damn. <laughs> well, to, can you break it down why? Uh, Because she can't handle the truth. Mm. And she'll hold the truth against you forever. Secretly. Yeah, the amount if of lies you, if, that she believes. If, if she's, do you really love her? <laughs> you just tell me if you love her. No, nah, I don't love her. <laughs> no, nah, I don't love her. No, nah, I don't love her. But you really, but, but if I tell you, yeah, I love her, that's gonna crush you. So, in your experience, women who believe the lies, what do you say about them? They live happily ever after. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Women yeah, who yeah, pretend yeah. to believe the lies live happy, peaceful, Drama, stress-free lives. The woman trying to get to the truth, she have nervous breakdowns, she lose her hair, her weight fluctuates, and she's miserable throughout half her life. The woman is trying to get to the truth, she is. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah no, no, hey, for real, it's, it's, it's some stressful shit. I promise you, because the truth hurts. Mm. Because the truth hurts. Mm. The truth will shatter you. I can't believe he was doing me like this. Uh, well, stop believing it then, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get you to jail, so now, nah, homie, uh, 
Nah, nigga, if you love your woman, nigga, learn to tell lies that sound like true. Mm. And if it all comes crashing down? Still lie and make it sound like the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if yeah. you nigga, if it come crashing down and you be honest, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> At least you can dig through the rubble. But if that bitch blow up, nah, homie. Nah, my nigga, hell no. Nah. Nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck if it come crumbling down. Whatever you do, don't tell the truth. <laughs> All right, so let's do it like this. You know, you re- you recently spoke on this, but we're gonna get your take because something new just happened to where, you know, you see Usher at the Super Bowl grabbing Alicia Keys and, you know, Swiss Beats. I'm assuming he okayed it. And, you know, now this nigga Usher is, you know, damn it, they, they, people try to, you know, go at the stake about it. Like, nigga, Usher, yeah. you, you can't be doing that. So some other girl, Kai Sanat, just recently uh, paid a nigga 20K for a, some African artist, Omalay or something, uh, who, a female who a dude brought to the front row of a concert his girl went up there to dance with this artist and she was doing all kind of freaky shit with this nigga behind the curtain. And the nigga just like, oh, fuck, he just left. And the girl was like, I mean, shit, I like, I mean, nigga, it's just a one-time experience. It wasn't that bad. And Kaisen, I gave the nigga 20K. Here you go, bro. I mean, fuck, you, you look bad out there. Should a nigga trip if a girl's up there with, with uh, someone she idolized and she gets a moment in her life? To be able to say, oh, I was able to go up on stage with. That's why you don't take your bitch to see no nigga. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's why you don't take your girl to go see no nigga. No, no, hell no, nigga. You don't take your girl to a Chris Brown. No, nah, well, I know. Now nah, you. You don't take your girl nigga to likes, see no nigga. If a female you likes let, Chris Brown. You let her and her girls go. Goddamn. <laughs> nigga, why you go take your bra to go see a nigga and, yeah, and she liked this nigga? So you let her and her girls go. Mm. But that could be worse. Well, what you don't know don't hurt. <laughs> Spirit, don't tell me nothing about that. Don't yeah, tell me nothing about that goddamn uh, trip. Yeah, yeah, what you don't know don't hurt, my nigga. <laughs> but, 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 nigga, why you want to pain freak that nigga and you on the front row too? <laughs> when he slide down there and put his knee, nigga, she, you, she, yeah, nigga, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Man, yeah. <laughs> and then when she go up there and do that, as you leaving out to go walk to the car, you call somebody, go break into a house. <laughs> bitch. No, nah, bitch, you man, no. Nah, bitch, you done, man, I done brought you to this concert and need some expensive seats to get this close to this nigga. And you done jumped up on her and did that? Life yeah, no. Nah, man, bitch, me and me go steal them TVs before you get home. <laughs> so, so there's no apology. She tried to apologize. No. Right, bitch, no. <laughs> you funk ass. No, nah, hell no. Nah, Cause you nigga, they wouldn't forgive you if you did it. Right. Nigga, that man let, <laughs> man let you go up there and you go to man dry humping, pumping that motherfucking dick up on one of them fine ass women on stage. <laughs> Nigga, your woman gonna be, man, please. Everybody go thank you wrong. Right. <laughs> but when the girl go up there and do it, nah, homie, shit, nah. <laughs> then you supposed to whoop your hoe. Yeah, you supposed to whoop her motherfucking ass. <laughs> she nah, you done done this in my face. Man, probably they'll slap shit out you. We get in that car. Bitch. Bitch. That Ike and Turner shit. And that bitch that fight like a motherfucker like Ike and Tina was in that motherfucker. Yeah. And calling your mama. Man, she wrong in the motherfucker. But she on the left. Yeah, I call your mama and tell her what happened. So there was a, 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 a man, a military man, I, I think his name by the name Aaron Bushnell. And, um, he set himself on fire. Yeah, said. I seen that fool. Uh, he protesting the Gaza war and yeah, they inhaled them flame and fumes and died. They couldn't get to him with the fire extinguisher enough to put his ass out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what would make a man do that? Uh, a mental health issue. Mm. Yeah, 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 mental health issue. Mm. Uh, he probably battling with the PTSD from the military. Then I fucked him up in the military. Cause a normal minded person don't give a fuck about that Gaza shit. No, not, not in America, a normal minded person. You know, we we you know, it's funny because, you know, and I'm gonna not go too deep into the, the Gaza and the, you know, all the stuff that's going on overseas. I try to stay what's going on in our borders. Um, I just seen a video where some illegal immigrants, I guess, caught a boat into Laguna Beach or somewhere in California where they just came in on a speedboat. 
hopped in some SUVs. I mean, the police could, like, what does a policeman supposed to do when like 12 immigrants is coming off the shores off of a, a, a U-boat? And what the, like, can, can it, illegal immigration be stopped? Because I see that's a big thing that Biden and Trump is trying to go, go at right now. Yeah, it can be stopped. Well, yeah, shoot them, yeah. shoot them down. Uh, all you got to do is lock the borders down. Our borders aren't locked down. You just came from the beach, though. Man, they got some people sitting watching. Motherfucker, they, they got some shit to watch some shit, homie. Right, it's right. nothing that can't be seen. Homie, nobody goes into North Korea. Nah, that's some real shit. <laughs> nobody going into Russia. Nigga in Russia, them Russian people don't know you ain't in here. Homie, all we got to do is lock the borders down. But it's an incentive not to. Yeah. So uh, we lose in America because we refuse to lock our borders down. Do you believe there's a migrant crisis? I, I know it's a migrant crisis. You've seen it. Uh, you, we see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've been seeing it for the last eight years. Uh, every two years they bring in a big migrant population. Uh, in Obama's first term, it was a bunch of Syrians. Yeah. Then nigga, all of a sudden they brought Afghanistan over. Here. So everybody we have problem with, they bring them people over here. Everybody we have problem with, they but it's not our Republican people, it's the Democratic people. The Republicans is saying, man, fuck that. Man, don't let nobody over here. Yeah. But the Democratic Party, because black people have such a low voter turnout, they have to increase immigration so their party can sustain and have its power in the political realm. Because black people are such a low voter turnout. So the Democratic Party know that they cannot rely on black people, so they have to replace their voting faction, just like they have to replace their slave labor. We used to be their slave labor, y'all remember? Who's their new slave labor? Immigrants? Yeah. Because you come to McDonald's, you want $15, you want $17. My immigrant is still satisfied at the $7.75. Nah, that's, that's They are satisfied. They don't complain. They don't file grievances. And we don't have to worry about sexual harassment with this group. Mm. We don't have to worry about company lawsuits. We don't have to worry about any liability with this group. Man, Come on, black saying. people. Uh, speaking of black people, there's a situation in Atlanta to where um, they reported 1,200 squatters are just living up in mansions. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Saying, yeah, fuck yeah. it, they doing their own thing, having parties, stripper parties and shit. You can't, you can't kick us out. Fuck you. What, what's, your, what's your thoughts on the squatting, squatting ass niggas? Uh, if you know the law, squat. <laughs> uh, I took some land from the city next to the classy lady by way of ad, adverse possession, also kind of squatting. So if you can squat, squat, nigga. <laughs> Because that means you know some laws. Do you believe squatting is a profession? Like a, like you said, yeah, it is. hey, learn the shit, yeah, it is. be a professional ass squatter, my nigga. Uh, most niggas I know learn that kind of game, homie. Yeah. <laughs> it's free. It's, yeah, that's a good game, my nigga. Yeah, it's a good motherfucking game. <laughs> nah, it's real. <laughs> that's real. Um, real quick, I got I to gotta get your take on, um, and this is just, you know, how, how you look at it. Kanye West, uh, got flack about the way his wife is dressing. Um, she's wearing skimpy outfits, promoting whatever he says, promoting. She's, you know, she's out there getting it. And someone said, man, you know, is your wife a slave? Or some, somebody asked, like, the TMZ and people, they asked him, like, hey, what's, is your wife free to do what she want? And, and, and kind of got, he felt disrespected by that. My question to you more so is, um, his wife does support him that hard to where she's willing to, you know, I'm, I'll bear skin for you. Should he do the same for her? If asked upon? Is it a role reversal? Can it be a role reversal? I'm sorry. Uh, why would why would he be asked to show some skin? That'd be some wild See, skin. See, because your woman's showing it for a benefit. So what, what would be the benefit of him showing some skin? I got the billions. So why, why would I need to do this? Do you feel like he's subjectifying her to? Uh, uh, we all we all do that to our bitch. Mm. Baby, put this on. Ooh, you look good in that. <laughs> Come on, we all do that to our bitch. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, nigga, and our woman is like our slave. This my bitch. <laughs> yeah, nah, this my nigga. This damn near like I own her. This my bitch. Man, once I go to putting dick in you, now nah, this my bitch. Shit, <laughs> nigga, I damn near do what I want to my bitch. <laughs> Don't nah, go. and we got this understanding. So who tripping about this? <laughs> I got her walking around with a dog. Now nah, this my bitch. And most niggas get their bitch to do what they want them to do. That's how you get your bitch to submit. That's how you know this your bitch. By this kind of shit. Because ain't nobody else going to do this for you but your kind of bitch. That's some real shit. <laughs> yeah, real yeah, shit. man. Shit, that's how you know this your bitch. Shit. Yeah. So, Charles, if people were worried about you that, you know, they seen a skit where you uh, look like you gunned down a man, man. Like yeah. you ran a nigga down, pop, pop, put a nigga down. I mean, I, people take it at face value. Yeah. What would you say for those people that saw that and see you on this couch right now just eating and breathing? I'm out on bond right now. Okay. <laughs> Talk yeah, that please shit. take it for face value. It talk that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't look at that and see that ain't no movie. Uh, they some goddamn fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't look at that and see that's no movie. Or uh, they some goddamn fool. Some people don't believe in special effects. Some people yeah. don't believe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna pick my chain up. After I shoot a nigga. No. And, and let me ask you this, because I got I have to get your take on this. Fannie Willis, who indicted Donald Trump. Yeah. They put her on the stand yeah. regarding the situation and boy, they went through her shit. Yeah. And they found out that she was dealing with the D, with the with the attorney she hired. Yeah. It was all kind of just, you know, she like, hey, he likes wine. I like great goose. Uh, shit, she like, yeah. I mean, I, we we link up, and I give him, I give him two thousand dollars to do it at cash to do what he want to do. Man, when you see this, Fanny, this is the district attorney, Fanny Willis in Atlanta, who is in front of Young Thug situation. Just man, just shit. Just what, what's your thoughts when you see her getting interrogated and the shit that came out of that? Uh, I think she did well. Uh, holding up under the, uh, you know, under the cross examination. Uh. But I think politically that hurt her. Yeah, they try to make it about her, but uh, well, it's a tactic that the white man is real good at when it comes to his niggas and anybody else. It's called character assassination. Yeah, they assassinated her character. Boy, Boy. and uh, you think that was Trump's doing? Uh, the white people doing. Uh, one thing about them, they gonna stick together. They ain't gonna let no black DA in no black city amongst a black population bring down no president. No white man president. This still a white man's world. Uh, he having problems out his white women. He ain't having problems out his black women. So he know what to come in and do. I told you they over-sexualizing us. We're going to be sex toys. So what they take, two of our prominent black figures and say they fucking? Mm. Come on, homie. Mm. Nah, that, Character assassination. Yeah, that, that, that for sure. For so, me. yeah, yeah. So that, that, that hurts her going forward because now her, her ethics and in, 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 in political morals are in question. So, uh, but for the most part, homie, uh, everybody fucking is sucking. No, everybody. Everybody, nigga, on all stages and all levels. So, speaking of oversexualized, um, you recently uh, hopped on the phone with uh, with Sexy Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, is that a relationship that you would like to see blossom and try to go for, man? You know, sexy. You know, shit. <laughs> nah. Uh, we, we 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 on two different paths in life. Mm. Uh, I don't see what it can blossom into. Y'all, hey, y'all both. I, 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 I don't see what it can blossom into. What I talk about and what she talk about, I don't see where we could 
a line. I can see a room, y'all, in this. I can see I, all the time. How? Well, you can see us doing what? I work with children, homie. <laughs> I work with mo- I, I, I work I work I work with mothers. Uh, nigga, I'm a married man. Uh, nigga, I got a what? Where, where could we align it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't work with women. All, all of my alignment is what I do with men. That's real. Yeah, so I, I couldn't see how me and her could align and do nothing together. Mm. Other than sit down and maybe talk for a day, you know. But other than that, I couldn't. Uh, I don't know what she do other than fuck and talk about her pussy. Mm. Mm. Should she be doing something else? Like what could she uh, do? I don't know what to say. What she should be doing? I'm mean, I, I don't know where. I don't know nothing about her. Uh, nigga, she doing what work for. Her. Uh, but nigga, yeah, nah, I couldn't see what we, we could do together besides fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about do, it. Do you have any daughters? Uh huh. Would yeah. you let them listen to Sexy Red? Uh, I'm sure she do. Uh, but you're not homie. My 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 daughter, a game related little, little girl, because yeah. I don't hide nothing from her. Yeah. Uh, and, and she come up under yeah yeah watching her daddy be yeah be a motherfucker. So now nah, nigga, my my uh yeah my my daughter listen to all that shit, and she listen to me. That's some real shit. That's some real shit. Um, but yeah, now nah, nigga, sexy red is a motherfucker, and she really with that shit, nigga. She really up out them trenches. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. She a motherfucker. Nah, that's some real shit. Um, so Charleston, uh, you know, and again, thank you for bringing the old man through. Because yeah, is he sleep over there? No, nah, no, nah, he good. He good. He, you know, he, he yeah, he, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at him. Yeah. He ain't moved. And, it's just yeah. shit. <laughs> but when it comes to like you mentioned, his, you know, putting his legacy forward, we have to ask, of course, again for you. Um, as you're attaining the success you're attaining, and you know, the game that you're spinning, you know, we always have to go back to your legacy. Yeah. And what legacy do you like to leave? Because again, for those that say, oh, Charleston White lost his way, is there an end game? Uh, yeah, I lost my way before I found my way. So I, I found my way when I came to the internet. So I had already lost my way before any of these people who know me from the internet. See, all the people who say that don't know me before the internet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's easy for them to say I lost my way. But nigga, I quit that shit, nigga, before I came to the internet. That's why I came to the internet. To to vent and be, you know, because nigga, I was burning out. And I, I remember uh, we was in San Marcos. Uh, I was the keynote speaker for the Texas Juvenile Justice Department Volunteer Banquet. And I remember one of the superintendents telling me, he said, Charleston, if you don't put no business with your passion, you're gonna get burnt out. And that's what happened to a lot of community activists, homie. They get burnt out within the first five to 10 years because they don't understand the business side of, 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 of doing community activism or, or having a 501c3. So nigga, when I came to the internet, I was burnt out. Nigga ain't making no money doing this, nigga. So homie, uh, that was my outlet. So I had been lost my way. And as I was losing my way, I would, I would pray at night and I would say, God, don't let my heart become hard toward my own people. And then the old nigga showed up. Right. That's the... That's the... Then, then Pops came through. So talking to Pops, I said, man, Pops, man, I don't, I don't want to do wrong no more, Pops. Uh, nigga, I didn't even want no money. I just wanted to live a righteous, right standing life. So nigga, I was already lost my way. When I got to the internet, I found me. I tapped into my gifts. I tapped into my talents. Uh, I started facilitating a vision that allowed me to study and learn algorithms and, and marketing and, and branding and branding strategies. And then nigga, I involved into a multimillionaire. And so now I do youth advocacy on a larger scale than just what I was doing at the classy lady. Uh, I just popped up at the homeless shelter today, home and gave over a thousand dollars just walking around the homeless shelter. As well as donate. Yeah, yeah, homie. So, and, and you know, so, uh, uh, nah, 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 homie. Uh, yeah, I, I found my way on the internet, and 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 and, and by f- by finding my way on the internet, I generated uh 
a legacy where homie, I don't never have to work again. Uh, I've been able to buy my mama a car, bought my son a car, bought my daughter a car. Uh, I got deals uh, that I'm closing and have signed on uh, that gives me equity, 10% equity into companies that'll take care of my children's children's children. Nigga, I found my way. I found me. I became a star. Uh, I had lost me, homie, working in the community. Uh, because I was putting other people uh, before me. I was putting other people's children's needs before uh, my needs and, and my kids' needs. And, and I felt like that I had to do that because I feel like that was part of the purpose. But one of the instructions is that a wise man stores up a inheritance for his children's children's children. So how, how wise can Dr. King be? And he died broke. How wise can Malcolm be? And they all died broke. They did not ensure a legacy for their children's children's children. So Malcolm's grandson set the house on fire and ended up killing his grandmother, Miss Betty Shabazz. Martin Luther King children struggling, poor, at the poverty line. They can't sell an audio. They can't sell a book. They can't sell nothing. His Dr. Cream great great grandchildren didn't inherit nothing but a Bible. They want to sell the Bible, and I'm sure Dr. King's Bible probably will bring in a couple hundred thousand. I didn't want that legacy. So, nigga, I found me, and I found my way. And now, nigga, me and my family, nigga, we got a legacy that I can pass on down to my children's children's children. I got books that's being sold. Uh, nigga, I got movies that's being made. Nigga, documentaries of mine is being shopped around for a motherfucker to purchase $300,000, $400,000 and still let me maintain the equity in it. So uh, I don't know what these niggas talking about, my nigga. Uh, I tapped into something coming on the internet. Uh, and my life will never be the same. Yeah, my life will never be the same, but in a good way. Uh, my mother has never been more proud before in her life. Uh, nigga, that's summer, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I didn't get to put that smile on her face on graduation day. I get to do it now, though. We yeah. we appreciate you letting us share some of that legacy over here too. You coming yeah. tapping in with us. It's very appreciated. Oh uh, nah, homie, uh, this 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 part of my story. Uh between real life street stars, say cheese TV, the Danza Project, uh and and, and, a, and a few other men, that's that's part of my story. That's that's this, yeah, this go be in the movie. This go be in the biopic. Uh because this these platforms helped propel me to where I am now. Uh, it gave me the light. Uh, it gave me an audience. And, and uh, I've been a good steward of, of, of what y'all have given me from here, homie. So I've maintained the light and I've maintained the audience. That's why I get mad sometimes uh, when I see certain shit over here. I be saying, man, them niggas too, they too big for that. Nigga, they too big for that. Nigga, I be, man, man, nigga, they had, I be getting mad because, nigga, they had Mark Cuban under these lights. Man. Nigga, Mark, so homie, it's certain shit. Nah, nigga, it, this is, this is, this is an exclusive spot. Don't play with it. Man, homie, that's a, that's a bright light. These lights here can make it, man, come on, homie. Yeah. So it, it shouldn't be taken kindly. Homie, this, nigga, these lights done created some shit. Didn't you hear the old nigga say we ain't got nothing to create? We don't manufacture, we don't produce. Nigga, these lights done produce some shit. Right. It done created some shit for some people, homie. So this couch ain't to be taken lightly. I know I don't take it lightly. Right. Yeah, so, nah. Um, You, you talked about um getting laxed, right? And because, you know, have you... Started being tact more tactical. It's hard to, homie. Uh, I got to go back to being poor. It's hard to be tactical at this level because you got to people. You got to shake hands with people. Right. You got to. Yeah, it's hard, homie. So, uh, nigga, got high security. 
Nigga can't go certain places because it's hard to be tactical at this level. It's almost impossible. Yes, yeah, almost impossible. So let's definitely talk about what you have coming up. Uh, the wrong address movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, we seen some behind the scenes. You filming? You filming that? You about? You about to wrap? Yeah, yeah. We wrap up this week. So uh, yeah, we be done this week. It's like 97 percent complete. Uh, shout out to my nigga Meezy, man. Man, shout out Meezy, man, and uh, definitely can't wait to see that. And I think. Uh, you wrapped up the Frigging movie you was uh, yeah, part of. Yeah, been nominated for, uh, I would, I think, two film festivals award. Uh, oh, man, uh, we Out Here, uh, produced by Stormy Daniels, uh, starring Charleston White, Amaretta. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be at the film festival awards in June. Now, it's crazy because uh, I think they're finally going to drop the Frigging documentary uh, next month, or if yeah. not... April, March or April, yeah, to where that might propel it is. y'all situation. It, it, it like, will. Oh, shit, we about uh, to go and, on. And, and uh, yeah, man, HBO looking to pick it up for a series. So uh, oh, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. Shout out to HBO. Um, is there anything else in the works that you have, like that the world may not know about that you got lined up that you? Uh, I got, I got a, I got a, uh, I got an app. Uh, I'm signing this. I, I, I got an exclusive deal with an app company. Uh. That's gonna change all of our lives. Uh, mm. Yeah, it, it's somewhat streaming, but it's not streaming. Uh, y'all just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Just stay uh, tuned. But nah, so I'm becoming a brand ambassador to a lot of, to a lot of different brands. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there so you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, you the perfect face for it, man. Yeah. Uh, just, just and shout out to Green Room Radio, man. So that's my new home for my podcast, Las Vegas. So every Tuesday and Thursday, man, I'm streaming out of Las. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm airing out of Las Vegas with the game related podcast. Me and Dubarry. Oh, come so. on, man. Shout out Dubarry too, man. Uh, only been a blessing to this, to yeah. this couch, to this game, man. Um, and uh, even hey, wait, before we get, I gotta ask you because you know I gotta get your take on it. Um, another Dallas, uh, let's say celebrity, um, just recently went viral for um. Head button and knocking out three niggas. Uh, I am Jonathan, and I'm just curious. In Charleston White, if three niggas approach you in front of whatever the fuck, do you get to? Do you even think to get Who to? Who is head- Jonathan? So Jonathan, I, I, I am Jonathan is a hairstylist. Oh, the Jonathan over there with my, my niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down to, he knocked out three niggas at once. You didn't see that video? With, with, like he no. hit. Oh, go, go, go pull it up. Yay, Jonathan. Yeah, get him just job. I don't I don't know I don't know his orientation, but shit. Yeah, go John, Jonathan gave but he ain't no pawn. And took three niggas out. He whooped three straight niggas, three tough niggas. Three tough niggas. Oh, he I'm, whooped three gay, three no, sisters. No, so mind you, they were three tough niggas where they actually went to a shop looking for him, put their hands on women in the shop, like nigga, call that millionaire nigga, have him pull up. He he pulled up by himself. <laughs> <laughs> no friends and whooped all three of them in front of whatever the fuck establishment that was with the security footage and used head buzz, right combos all them niggas laid out sleep I said I ain't never seen no shit like that and it told me I said I don't he made me almost make niggas want to fight again like oh niggas maybe fighting is a way to go versus shoot a nigga but uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't nobody yeah yeah can't nobody do that but uh, yeah 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 no no uh Gay John to whoop three niggas like. Yeah. Wait till you see the footage. But I already, I'm about, but listen, I already know he ain't no punk. Yeah, I'm talking you know, about. Y'all them, y'all, yeah, nah, I know. I'm talking nah. about combo, connection, headbutt. He still, cut. listen, listen. <laughs> he's still a man. Hey. Hey. He's yeah, like, yeah, nah, nah. Nigga, one thing about it, that's still a man. Hey. And he still got the strength of a man. Hey. Not, not only that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Man, you can't whoop no nigga that done took some dick. Man, you can't. Ain't a blow you can deliver that can, man, make up for the kind of blows a motherfucker take at that ass. You hear me? So now, man, the level of pain that a motherfucker got to withstand, nigga, to take that rod. Now, nigga, uh, they got say they better leave that wall, but you can't fight no punk. You got to kill it or leave it alone. Cause what this man now? All right, well we're gonna we're gonna shout out to Jonathan for whooping them three niggas, man. And them three niggas need to leave Earth. All right, so today hello. pack your bags up, nigga, and find the fastest space shuttle to get your ass off Earth. You done let one gay man come whoop three niggas. They supposed to. I fuck with Jonathan, <laughs> but nigga, they supposed to kill him. 
Shit. <laughs> they weren't supposed to let him walk out of there no motherfucking me super seance. You know that the whoop three headbutt too? Oh, shit. He, he threw some headbutts in there too? I, I low-key want to show it to you so you give us commentary on the shit. Man, no. I'm okay. going to call Larry. Yeah, I'm going yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm to call the owner. Of the one. I know who to call. The spin <laughs> and whoop them niggas up there for real. I'm, I know who to call. I'm going to call Shay and Shay. You heard about the Johnson and whoop them niggas up there? Yeah. Well, there you go, man. Um, man, it's crazy, man, because you only give good game, man, and uh, it's just nothing but entertaining when we have you in here, man. Uh, for those, say, that- man, I'm inviting y'all to the barbecue. I got Aiden Ross coming out here next week too. I'm inviting oh, y'all man. to the barbecue, oh, come man. On, man. Yeah, we probably be doing some philanthropy work at the high schools and things. You got man. some cameras? You going You need some cameras uh, out yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all come on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we get you some footage. You goddamn. Yeah, yeah. We probably yeah. pull up at uh, uh, uh. Oh, I talked to me and say TV, talked to the coach over at Sam Houston High School. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we probably be pulling up. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That means, shout out Say Cheese, shout out Aiden Ross, man. We definitely gonna pull up. Um, for those that <laughs> may not be following you, if you got a new Instagram. The real Charleston White 46. <laughs> Yeah, the real you Charleston been keeping White that up for, hey, Yeah, I've been, I've been doing good. Yeah, yeah, I've been shit, doing good. And shit. make sure y'all follow the real Charleston White fan page on Come Facebook. On okay, so yeah, you that you are managing that. That's that's yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. All right, just making sure. Yeah, it's a that. private group, but the rest of them, uh, yeah, they're them fake pages. All right, well, I want to shout out the old man. Is there any shout outs you want to give once again? Uh, see the we we, uh, we we here. Nah, man, shout out to my man True from Green Room Radio, a uh, real life street star, man, the Danza Project. Uh, shout out to Sukiana. Hey, baby. Hey, yeah. hey Suki. Uh, but nah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, wink, yeah. wink. Uh, shout out Suki, though. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. Uh, but nah, that's about it, homie. Uh, y'all, uh, y'all stay tuned. I would like to see Sukiana on this couch. Yeah, nah, we got to get Sukiana, man. Y'all want to get Suki? Yeah, we got to get Suki. I call her manager and see if we can get her. Oh, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, tell, tell her we definitely want her, man. God damn it. Right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. We'll have fun with her in Dallas. All right, let's go, man. Well, you already know what it is, man. Uh, 2024, this shit about to go up, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, I don't know if we... We're going to get canceled and put on with this one, man. But Charleston White. Uh, now, nah, this going to be a good one. One million views. Let's go. <laughs> Real life sweet song. <laughs>